question right so numerical number one an audio signal 15 sine 2 pi 1500 t amplitude modulates a carrier given as 60 sine 2 pi 100,000 t find the following right so the thing is an audio signal is given to you okay and a carrier waveform is given to you so what you need to do is you need to sketch the waveform of audio signal so the thing is what is my audio signal now audio signal is my modulating signal right i explained you the modulating signal modulated signal and the carrier signal in my previous video you can go on the previous video you will understand the difference between all the type of the signals okay so you need to sketch the waveform for the modulating signal carrier signal and the modulated waveform so first we are going to do a b and c part so a part i explained you when we are doing the modulating signal modulating signal means the input signal so obviously this signal needs to be modulated so it must have a low frequency than the carrier signal right so i i mentioned here this modulating signal here and you can see i mentioned it with the sine waveform why the sine waveform because in the question it is given 15 sine 2 pi 1500 t right and what is the amplitude amplitude is 15 so you can see i mentioned 15 at the x axis on the top and the minus 15 on the negative side so this is my audio signal time is the x axis and it is having a low frequency now this low frequency needs to be modulated right so this is my carrier signal so this message signal will be superimposed on the carrier signal so this is my carrier signal here which is having a high frequency now look at the carrier signal so it is given 60 sine 2 pi 100,000 t that means what is the amplitude amplitude is 60 so i mentioned here 60 on the positive side and minus 60 on the negative side but you can see the waveform is the sine waveform but with the high frequency high frequency means the time interval the in which a waveform repeats itself so this is basically the high frequency now how do we make the modulated signal i i explained already in the amplitude modulation waveform first to draw a modulated waveform we need to draw envelope so envelope what envelope we are going to draw what is your input signal so the input signal is the sine wave so this is the envelope this is the envelope we are going to draw like this so this is my sine wave okay this is the this is the envelope this on the negative side it is the envelope okay and now the most important thing what will be the amplitude of it so amplitude will be because what will be the modulated signal it is basically the carrier signal on carrier signal a message signal or the modulating signal is superimposed right so that is my modulated signal so what what is the amplitude of carrier wave 60 right and what is the amplitude of modulating wave 15 so my total amplitude will be 75 so this is the modulated signal i can write it is the modulated signal all right now the d part find the modulation index and percentage modulation what is the d part we know this formula m equals to vm by vc that means what what vm vm is the amplitude the peak amplitude is of the modulating wave and vc is the peak amplitude of the carrier wave so what is the amplitude of the modulating wave it is 15 and for it is 60 so when we solve this we get 0.25 is the answer okay next is percentage modulation so obviously when we are we need to calculate any percentage we will multiply it by 100 so we multiplied it by 100 and we get 25 percent so this is the answer now the e part what are the modulating and carrier frequencies so when when we need to calculate so this equation is given as the input signal 
and we have the standard equation as i explained in you as i explained this standard equation in my previous videos vm equals to capital vm sin omega mt so we will just compare these two equations right so when we compare these two equations so omega m will be equal to 1500 right so that means omega m omega equals to 2 pi f you all know this thing so 2 pi f m equals to 2 pi 1500 t right so f m will be 1500 hertz yeah 2 by fm 1500 hertz now vc equals to vc sine omega c t right so we will just compare this thing here and omega c equals to 2 by fc and fc equals to omega c equals to 2 by fc that means 2 by fc equals to this and fc equals to 100 kilohertz so that we get our fc now the f part is find upper and the lower cutoff frequencies i have explained what are the upper and the lower cutoff frequencies when we are doing the upper sideband it is fc plus fm fc plus fm is the carrier and the modulating wave so this these these are 100000 plus 1500 so that's 100 this hertz and when we are talking about lsv it will be fc minus fm so these hertz is the answer so that's why we that's how we calculated all the a b c d e and f parts now question number two a modulating signal x t equals to this is used to modulate a carrier signal so what what is given the same the modulating signal is given and the carrier signal is given you need to calculate this so first of all modulation index how do we calculate we know the formula vm by vc so from this question you can see the amplitude is 10 the carrier amplitude is 25 so we will use 10 by 25 and we get answer 0.4 right now sideband frequencies so for sideband frequencies that means we need to calculate usb and the lsb frequencies okay so for this how do we do we will just compare the equation omega m equals to 2 pi fm from here and uh, we will just find out fm and omega c equals to 2 pi fc and we will find out the fc here right so we can just find out like we have i have explained you in question number one now f usb fc plus fm so whatever is the answer of fc and whatever is the answer of fm we will just add them and what is f lsb fc minus fm so we will just subtract these two frequencies and we will get upper sideband frequencies and the lower sideband frequencies now amplitude of sideband frequencies this formula also i have discussed in the previous lecture we know the amplitude is mvc by 2 what is modulation index we have already calculated it is 0.4 right so 0.4 into 25 what is vc is the amplitude of the the peak amplitude the maximum amplitude of the carrier waveform so what is this carrier waveform this one so you can see what is the amplitude it's 25 here so it is 25 we will calculate and we will get the answer so for this will be the amplitude of sideband sorry what that's the amplitude of sideband frequencies now the bandwidth we know the formula of bandwidth is 2 fm okay so we will just what is fm frequency of the modulating waveform putting all the values we'll get the bandwidth next is total power delivered okay we have discussed this formula also so the formula is you need to remember this formula for total power delivered vc square by 2 r 1 plus m square by 2 right and r is the load so if we see the e part total power delivered to the load of 600 ohm 600 ohm is given that means the load is given to you right so we will just directly put the value vc you all know the peak peak amplitude of the carrier wave then r is 600 ohm putting the value here and then 1 plus m square by 2.4 square by 2 and then whatever we get the answer will be in watts and that will be your answer okay so that's all about a to e part now question number three 
an amplitude modulated signal is given by so this is the amplitude modulated signal phi m equals to this the it is the amp modulated signal is given not the carrier and the modulating is the modulated signal is given find the various frequency components present in corresponding modulation indices draw the line spectrum and final bandwidth so first of all what i need to do is i need to write this expression in a proper form so that we can find out all the values so what i will do take 10 and cos 2 by 10 to the power 60 common so from this expression i will take 10 and cos 2 by 10 to the power 60 common when i will take the common we will get this expression because i took the common from here 10 cos 2 by 10, this whole term i took the common right so it will be 1 plus 5 by 10 cos this plus 2 by 10 cos this right now we can easily write 10 1 plus 5 by 10 is 0.5 cos this plus 2 by 10 is 0.2 cos 4 by 10 to the power 3 t cos 2 by 10 to the power 60 now if a modulated waveform is given and it is in this one plus that form that then that that's the standard equation for the modulated waveform okay you need to know this equation and ec ec is basically the amplitude the the final amplitude you can say or you can just say ec or you can say v a m capital v a m capital v a m is the maximum amplitude of the modulated waveform so 1 plus m1 cos omega 1 t 1 plus cos omega 2 t plus m n this 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 cos omega c t right so this is m2 here right so just we will compare these two equations the equation number one and equation number two we are going to compare these two equations and we find that find out that ec equals to 10 if we compare these two equations and all the m1 m2 values so m1 is 0.5 and m2 is 0.2 m2 is 0.2 omega 1 and omega 2 and omega c as well right so we'll just find out the carrier term with frequency so from this we know omega c equals to 2 pi 10 to the power 6 radian per second and we will find out fc right upper sideband frequencies we can find out omega c plus omega 1 we can find out the upper side sideband frequencies and similarly omega c plus omega 2 using this formula we can find out the fc plus f2 just you need to remember omega equals to 2 pi f right now amplitude we know this formula mvc by 2 so here i i use the notation ec so i use this formula and we get the answer 2.5 volts same each side bend of omega 2 equals to this 1 volt bandwidth 2 fm we know the formula we can find out 4 kilohertz okay so that's how we calculated this now question number fourth a standard am broadcast station is allowed to transmit modulating frequencies up to 5 kilohertz if the am station is transmitting on a frequency of 980 kilohertz compute the maximum and the minimum upper and the lower side bands and the total bandwidth so first of all for that you need to find f usb right so for that what is f usb is basically the upper side band frequency that means the fc plus fm so you can see what is 980 kilohertz here and and what is 5 is the modulating waveform right so fm is 5 kilohertz and here it is the fc 980 so 980 plus 5 is the 985 kilohertz and FLSB equals to 980 minus 5 equals to 975 kilohertz. So bandwidth FUSB minus FLSB and we will get the answer 10 kilohertz. Or we know the, the another formula also of bandwidth, bandwidth equals to 2 FM. So we can use directly this formula as well. So you can use any of the method, the answer you are getting the same. Okay, question number 5. An AM transmitter has a carrier power of 30 watts. The percentage of modulation is 85%. Calculate the total power and the power in one side band. So we know this formula. We have already discussed this formula. PD equals to PC1 plus M square by 2. 
what is pc pc is pt is the total power and pc is the carrier power so carrier power what is given in the question 30 watts so i will use 30 1 plus m square by 2 what is m in the question now m is given 85 percent that means percentage modulation is given right you need to use m that means you need to divide this by 100 right so when we will divide this by 100 we will get 0.85 so we will calculate and we get 40.8 watts now what will be psd both pt minus pc transmitted power minus the carrier power we get this and PSD 1 means on one side what we will get divided by 2 we will get the power 1000 on one side right so last one antenna has an inputting capacity AM an unmodulated AM signal produces a current of 